What is going on guys, the Speedy Turtle here and welcome to the first episode of Minecraft PvP Tips and Tricks. Um, I'm doing this series now, it's going to probably take up most of the rest of the summer and probably till the end of this year. Um, I'm doing this because you're probably thinking, I've already got tons of series and what's the point, I probably won't stick to it, but the th reason I'm doing this is because I have SG Secrets and what's the point in knowing all these like different tier 2's and that, getting the best gear in the game for like survival games and not knowing how to PvP for shit. Well, there's no point in that. So I thought I'd um, give some of my wisdom, as you could sort of say, back to you so um, it can just make everything a lot easier. Now, in this first episode, we're going to be um, doing texture packs, um, settings, and the hotbar layer. Now, before you click off this video, before you do it, I know you're going to do it because you're like, I want to learn PvP, and that's what I said, you're going to do it, and you will. But um, first... With these three things, that uh, if they're sorted out properly, it will make all the stuff I'm going to be talking about in the future episodes much clearer. So you might want to stick around for that. If you don't care, then, you know, you can just leave it if you like, but I guarantee you it'll help a lot more. Um, so first, we're going to talk about texture packs. Now, I'm going to tell you what needs to be with the texture pack, and I'll give you a link to where you can get some of these texture packs. Now, first of all, you're going to... You need a smooth and non-distracting texture pack. What I mean by this, like, I'm using Huawei's um, PvP texture pack. And as you can see, it's smooth. Nothing's, like, really that distracting. The bow's a bit chunky, but you can kind of get used to that. If the bow's a bit thinner, it's not as distracting at first. Like, with the arrow, there's, it's quite chunky in a way. But you need a smooth and, like, nice texture pack. You don't want to be using something like a medieval texture pack. Although it looks good. You don't want to be using that because, like, smallest things can put you off and can be, like, vital in a, like, fight that you could be taking easily people out. Um, so, se second, oh, no, no, in fact, you can get a link to these texture packs. My friend, Draven Kimifesto, or Keenan, as you all know him, uh, most of my channel's probably subscribed to him already. Uh, he put up a top five resource packs uh, video about a month ago. That will be in the link in the description. He goes down the top five best like PvP resource packs because they're smooth and they're probably the best ones you can use. And I definitely, definitely um, recommend you download them. So we're going to go into our second thing now. Second thing we're going to be talking about settings, right? So I'm going to go into my settings. You will need Optifine for this. Um, if I remember, I'll put an Optifine download in the uh, link below. Uh, it will be 1.7.9. So yeah. You will want to like download 1.7.9. You don't have to download it, but just so it's loaded up. So go into your. Well, first we'll do FOV. FOV is basically this. As you can see, I am on FOV 30. Um, I get more frames per second on this. I don't know why. Don't want to be on that, guys. You want to? I recommend you go on FOV 100. And the reason I say this is because. You're not going too fast, you're not going too slow. You can see much more things around you. If I put myself on Quick Pro, I feel like you can't judge distance as well as you can normally do. Like, like you wouldn't think it was there. Like, you'd think it was well further back, but that's only, like, two blo three blocks away from you. So I recommend um, FOV 100. It's probably the best, and you're not going too fast, you're not going too slow, as I already said. Now... Go into your video settings if you want to copy these ones. You're going to want... The reason I'm putting settings in this is because you're going to want, like, the best, uh, like, FPS you can possibly get. Now, I, like, unless you're recording, unless you've got a beastie computer, you don't, well, probably won't want to listen to this. Um, your game might not look the best, but you're going to get the best FPS from this. Now, you're going to want your graphics on fast. Uh... This takes, this is probably one of the most important ones. It takes a lot of um, FPS lag off and, you know, like, it doesn't really change much. Like, the difference between it, all, the only thing I really notice is that, like, the leaves here are non-see-through. And when it's on fancy, they're see-through. Like, I really don't see much of a difference apart from the leaves. But, you know, it's your choice, but it does do quite a lot. 
for your FPS. Now, render distance, you're not going to want it on high because uh, it really depends on your PC. You're going to like... I recommend like 10 and under. You're not really, you don't really need to see like guys from ages away. And also like, you kind of, when it's on a shorter render distance, sometimes you can see people in chunks unloaded. But if you had a full render distance, you wouldn't be able to see them because they could be through a mountain or something like that. So it can also be a big advantage of tracking people. Now, you're going to want your like other things on as minimum as possible. I've got this like thingy, like, like, and as again, and as an example right here, um, view bobbing you're gonna want off. Uh, the reason I say that, the difference is because you're running flat here. It doesn't really look really, really realistic. But like, I feel like you can get better, get better snipes on with a bow than like I'll show you in view bobbing on. Oh, I clicked on something wrong there. Like you're bouncing there, and like I just feel like you can't really aim as well. So that's just a per personal like preference there, but I, I recommend it's off. Now, things like chunk loading, it really depends on your computer. You might want to fiddle about with that. When I have it on multi-core, like, it glitches chunks all over the place, so you're going to want that on smooth. Now, I'm just going to quickly go over, over all the animation things you're going to want on. You're going to want potion particles on and like stuff like dripping water and lava on for traps. Uh, potion particles on just so you can see if someone is using some sort of like golden apple or something like that uh, but it, like unless you want to run that risk I don't know but you're gonna want the rest of them off now you're gonna want stuff like clouds and all all most of this stuff off it really some of these are more like personal things if you want to see and it kind of looks better I'm not really bothered and um, so yeah that's all I really really want for settings now if you want a bit more detailed I uploaded a video like a while ago it's not the best you will need Optifine for it, because I say it in the end, and it must have pissed a few people off after looking in their settings, but like, what the fuck? I've got none of this stuff, but he has, and I go, oh yeah, I need Optifine, by the way. But I have a more detailed video, um, back, like, further back on my channel, you might want to go check that out. It'll give better, like, FP like not getting FPS lag. Now, we're going to come to our last, final thing, like, our final tip of this episode. And now, it's going to be Hot Bar Layout. Now, this is probably going to help you the most for my future videos. As you can see, I have my I, I have my sword in first place. Now, it's most general place, like, you can, I, I'd rather put it there because you're going to need stuff like your fishing rods, flint and steels, and things like cobwebs and bows at easy access. You're not going to want your sword in here, food out there, and your fishing rods, like, there, and your flint and steel there. Uh, no, you don't want it like that. You're going to want to have the most easy access going to it. Now, I'm going to, the reason I have like that, is easy access here. My bow, I, ha I usually, when I use my bow, I have it, like, I'm not using it, like, in the heat of the moment, where I'm going to have to flick quickly. I'm usually at more of a distance. Golden apple, you're usually at a distance, and your food in the middle, mainly because, you know, like, you, you know, you're not going to be, like, eating halfway through a fight. Uh, but I do recommend keeping your, like, two things, two different type of saturation food. You're going to, like, most servers you get raw food in chests and stuff like that. I recommend eating the raw food when you're not going to fight and, keep, like, saving as much as, like, cooked food as possible because they're going to give you better heart saturation. So I recommend keeping two different types, like non-cooked food and like cooked food, and both in there, uh, but only eating the raw foods and only eating the cooked food when you really need to. Now, I usually like to keep my arrows in here as well, just so I can keep count. And my cobweb is like pretty in a, like close to my flint and steel, but like I don't really use my cobweb in the heat in the moment, like a flint and steel, like I might be running at a guy and bam, like right in his face. I'm not going to like run up and then go, cobweb, nah. I just don't, that's not really how I do it. Now, I also have a few other things here, like a cake and TNT. On Hive, you don't get golden apples, so I usually, if I have TNT, I'll put it there. And if I have cake, I'll put it there. Now, also, in, like, some servers, you don't have cobwebs, for example. Um, I, and, like, you have enderpearls, so I swap cobwebs and enderpearls. I don't really play on, like servers that have ender pearls in it, I just like kind of defeats the purpose of the game. Like MCSG can get sponsored ender pearls, so that's why I've really put it in there. Now also uh 
I don't really get sponsored on MCSG. You only really get sponsored if you're a YouTuber and everyone's like, oh, I want to help him. Uh, so, and there's not cobwebs on MCSG. So you leave, you've left off a spot. I usually just put food in there. Or like, yeah, like cake or something. And it's like quick food, you place it down and then you're boom, you're away. Now, that is all I've got for you this episode. This is the first episode. It will be up every second week in between every Saturday. There will be a survival game secrets. My schedule has been a bit mucked up recently, but that's back on track next week. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed the episode, please leave it with a thumbs up. Remember that these things are going to help you a lot in the future um, with my videos and learning how to PvP better. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. You'll be updated with all the new episodes of everything, everything, everything. And I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video and peace.